Good afternoon, wholesalers. This is Aaron Kinder from FloridaWholesaleLand.com. Today's video is brought to you by LCO Law, LLC, LCO Law, FL.com. Go visit Natalio. Let make your appointment with the best real estate attorney in town. All right, guys. I told you I was going to do it. I told you I was going to make a video about the new hidden secret to buying land or real estate dirt cheap, pardon the pun, in Polk County, Florida. So in this video, I'm going to go through all four hidden secrets. So there used to be three. I found the fourth one finally. And so I'm putting this together for you. So let's just start with secret number one. I guess it's really not a secret now if you're watching my channel. But secret number one for all you newbies out there is buying land or real estate in the Polk County tax deed auction at polk.realtaxdeed.com you come here you get a bitter number you must always load money up with the clerk of courts if you want to participate and then you click into the auction on the day of you can go ahead and before the auction put in your proxy bids which is what i highly recommend um and then at the day of the auction you can also pull this up and you can bid there as well if your proxy bids are outbid or if you didn't put any proxy bids. But you can get land or real estate in general relatively cheap in the Polk County tax deduction. So that is secret number one. So moving into secret number two. This is all part of a system. It's very linear, and I'm going to explain this to you. So secret number one feeds into secret number two, which feeds into secret number three. And then it leads into secret number four, okay? This is a very linear process, and this is how land or real estate works through its system, through the Polk County system. So at the end, there was always like this wash, rinse, recycle of properties if, <laughs> when you don't pay your real estate taxes, okay? So this is secret number one. Secret number two is the lands available list. So this is the extension of the auction. So when nobody bids on a property, in the auction, the plaintiff in the case, which are all these names here, these are the plaintiffs in the case. These are the individuals or entities or the county that basically sued you and said, hey, we were your creditor. You didn't pay your real estate taxes. Now we're going to take your property to the tax deed auction. It went to the tax deed auction. Nobody bid on it. Apparently nobody wants your property either. And now it's on the lands available list. So this is good and bad for both parties, right? So as the defendant, the property owner, they could just come and pay all their taxes off, save their property still, and get it off the land's available list. So that's a, that's a good on them, right? So if it doesn't get a bid, they have more time. Now for the plaintiff in the case, the property's here is the extension of the auction. They're going to make more money if the property is sold off of this list. So this list is first come, first serve. Anyone can buy off this list, however, comma, as soon as a property is put on this list, generally within three days post the tax deed auction, if nobody bid on it, the county has the first 90 days. So the county has the first 90 days. After the first 90 days, then it's really first come, first serve, right? So a property stay on this list for three, up to three years, right? And then after three years, it then is, is cheated back to the county it returned to the kingdom right which now will lead us into hidden secret number three which is actually the new hidden secret so moving into secret number three which is actually the new secret when the county takes ownership of the property through its cheatment they don't always sell the property sometimes the county just keeps it but if they choose to sell the property, it goes through another process before it goes to the land's surplus list. And so on the county's website, if you go to polk-county.net procurement and bids, then you're going to come to their, their procurement section. And you're like, why did you bring me here? And I was like, well, this is kind of a hidden way, and I mean hidden for the county to offer the properties up for bid here. So this is the county trying to get the most amount of money for the properties because they're opening up in another bidding sort of format. 
So right now, what you see is just bid and proposals, and this is not properties. However, if you're a contractor and you want to service the county, so for instance, this first bid proposal is actually for a demolition. So if you're a demolition contractor, then always come here if you want to service the county and make some money. Now, the county also has some other solicitations that they just continually solicitate for. So these are just smaller things that the county always has to pay for, and they're constantly picking up vendors to do these sort of solicitations. But these things have nothing to do with the land or the real estate. I'm getting to it. If you keep scrolling down, aha, this is the third hidden secret. This is the surplus land for sale, not the surplus lands list. So this is what happens first. Properties are brought here, and then they're open to solicitation for a bid, meaning you're going to buy the property. So here are the parcel numbers here. But to buy from this, you actually have to receive a bid form. You have to fill it out. And to be honest, you have to be local. You physically need to be there. You will not be able to do this over the internet or sitting from your home back in Honolulu, Hawaii like I am, right? So this is the first shot. So properties who then don't catch a bid here then go into hidden secret number four. But you would have never have known those properties were coming available to you if you were only looking at hidden secret number four, which is the actual land surplus list. I didn't know this until recently. I just figured this hidden secret out that the county in their system has something built in. And it's kind of hidden away. That's why it's a hidden secret for you to actually get the properties cheaper or first come before it makes it to the land surplus list so these properties right here these four they have an opening bid basically the date of the solicitation is october 20th which is in a couple days if nobody bids on these then they move to hidden secret number four which is a surplus lands list so these two properties right here i watched them they actually were on this list they were on this list. And the reason how I figured this whole thing out is because of this darn property right here. This one right here is actually next door to a property that I own. And the individuals that actually run the real estate department for the county actually mailed me a solicitation to actually participate in this sort of bidding. But I'm not local, so I could not actually participate in it. So I didn't. Nobody bid on it, and now it made its way over here to the surplus lands list. So I was woke <laughs> to the third hidden secret. I did not know this existed until earlier, uh, earlier like this month. So this is hidden secret number three. So come here first before you come here. And if you are local, you can participate in this. If you are not local, then you won't be able to participate in it. You have to physically fill out all these forms and physically bring it up to the procurement office, right? You have to bid that way. This surplus lands list, the heat and secret number four, this you could do completely from afar. You just call Chris up. She'll send you the form. You fill it out. And bada bing, bada boom, bada bang. You pay your money and recording costs, and now it's yours. But there's another secret to hidden secret number four, the surplus lands list. Every 30 days that these properties stay on this list, they reduce in price by 5% until the property is sold. I did not know that either. I knew the price goes down. I didn't know it came down in a regimental format, though. I just thought they came down because these people were making decisions of, oh, they're not selling, so we better lower the price. But there's actually a regimental structure to this. These properties from this date, well, this is today's date, but when they were put on the list every 30 days, if nobody buys them, they reduce by 5%. So keep that in mind. So if you see a property here that you want, like this one or this one, and you're like, oh, I really don't want to pay $40,000 for it. Well, if you found out the day that it actually showed up on the list, which it doesn't tell you here, 
But if you knew it, then you know exactly when to wait for that price drop. And if 5% price drop is good for you, well, then you call up Chris or shoot him an email and you buy the property now. Buy, 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 right? So let's recap. Hidden secret number one is the Polk County tax deed auction. If nothing is bought here and moves over to land, or the land's available list if the plaintiff chooses not to take ownership of the property, right? This is hidden secret number two. Hidden secret number two, buyer beware, though. Because there could be reasons why the plaintiff didn't take the property. So the properties on this part could be highly encumbered. However, comma, there's always diamonds in the rough on this list. You just need to uh, learn how to read the property identification or the, I'm sorry, the, the title search. Hidden secret number three, the new one, is the surplus land for sale in the procurement office at Polk County. So you go to polk-county.net procurement bids and scroll all the way down. And you'll see the ones that are going to bid here and then finally is the surplus lands list this is where they go if nobody bids on them there at hidden secret number three they come here and then hidden secret number four for every 30 days that nobody buys them they decrease in price by five percent so that's it guys buy land dirt cheap pardon the pun and enjoy all four hidden secrets to buying real estate dirt cheap in polk county florida bye now